Hello and welcome to another episode of my This is Total War campaign with the Western Roman Empire. Last time we had a standoff a defense in Achilles against the Huns. And we're now starting at the campaign map here after ending the turn. So I'm just having a look here. Now Triarius is in our family. He's married to Dulia Flavianus, the daughter of Stilco. And him, Magnus, he needs to seek himself a wife because see, we need to produce more children. We have to have the future in mind here. We also have an office available, so we'll use not Probinus. Neoturius is already there, so Flavianus it is. If you would take any other here, that would bring that would make. A Probinus or Flavian is very unsatisfied with that decision, so you always want to go with the highest ranked generals. Now, and we need to think of our economy here because we still need to recruit more troops and we have the predicted income of 3000, so we're making money, but we need to. We need to make more. So I want to have here at Insulae Occidentalis, I think we'll go for... Because the food's looking okay, but we're going to need more food when the time comes to build the theater and the capital building and stuff like that. So might as well start building a farm here. And we'll go with... Because this is a uh, base fertility 5, so we can make some decent money out of this one. Wealth 450 and 300 additional wealth because of the local fertility level and also a total of 55 food extra. So let's get with the sheep flock. And I will also want to build one here in Taraco, not because that particular region needs the food right now, we're really good here, even though the theater will take some of it, but they can manage the public order, even though it's only minus one. And I think we'll go with the sheep flock here as well, so that will bring us some a good amount of cash when it's done but this is a region that can take the minus one public order penalty for the that building and we're also going to be here the character is gives it eight so if we remove the governor here it would be minus two with the farm minus three and this gives us well Three. So let's have a look at one more time. So that's okay, really. Let's keep him there for now. But on the other hand, Aqua Sixty I uh, don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, here. That reading is also stable. It's five and eight of it is because of the character. So that would be minus three if we remove him. But on the other hand, instability will is con going to continue to go down. So we can remove him and be in the green and not risk any rebellion. So it's Symmachus, so let's just kick him out of office. And I think I will bring him down to Carthage. So he moves back to Africa, but as a governor, not a general, as he, as he started as. Yeah. So let's have a look at, we're going to have a look at our army. We noticed the Ostrogoths have landed outside Tretum and Macedonia, right? 
a couple of ships there and a couple of units actually we could deal with that they are likely to be headed against towards regime i don't think they will go down to syracuse but if they do we have even one more garrison ship right there so i think we will we will be able to handle that but we won't be able to handle this they will most likely besiege Toretum next turn I will have one more unit as a guarantee, two more units because it's second tier and this one buddy that won't be enough so we will have to make we will have to move a general down here so let's see what we have right here Ready for orders. I think this guy how is the status of Flavianus. Oh, we captured an Onagar. We 1000 in upkeep costs. No, thank you. We need that money. We don't need the Onagar. He can't hire any mercenaries. Commander. We have some cab, but yeah, not gonna recruit those. But I think, could we move and drop off a couple of you? Move him over here and drop off a couple of units and start to me start his march to a down south. Mr. So Hans will be back soon. I think we'll also want to repair the guardhouse so these guys get replenished. We're quite one vulnerable for an attack. We could be attacked mm, at the next end turn, so... Either way, we don't want Achilia to get raised by the Huns. Or on any other faction for that matter, so I'm just gonna go and... You have further orders? What did I do? Why didn't I meet him halfway? Make haste, man. Anyway, what's done is done. So let's just... Let's give him four units of Comitatensis, I think. Advance. And Send move back to the city. That feels much better. And I need it to force march. If I took you out of... Would you reach that in two turns as well? No, you wouldn't. Maybe if we force march you a bit now. I see, no. Yeah. Go this way as long as you can go. And we can't hire. Yeah, so he's on his way down there. And let's have a look at our other forces here. Lebo, yeah, as usual. Hmm, what to do with you? I need to bring you down here, I reckon, to see what they're up to. And we need to get you upgraded so you can also help in investigating corruption. So yeah, the Hunnic army is fled here. So we'll see where, if they will continue this path here or, or if they have another another go at it at Achilia. Do you are recruiting them? They will be ready next turn. So do we have an extra defense in Bordigala. Still go. Can you make it to? No, we cannot. So where will he go? He can only move. He cannot move too far. We're blocking him off this way. 
God damn it. Anyway. Unfortunately, the picks didn't sally out on me, but they will in time. The settlement strength is is uh, yeah, it's still quite strong. So no, we'll we'll just have to wait it out another turn. And you're here. I don't need to recruit more with you now. I just want you to replenish. Now this is interesting. They, the last stack has has fled the back to Sidimus and resettled out that. Ready for battle. So we need to move. Stance none. Either way we go here, we will get. We will take attrition, but. Only the competences on the other hand, because so I think we need to. Yeah, he's available over here as well. This is actually quite risky. What does he got? You got six units, and even. A desert chieftain as garrison. He can't recruit though. Come and on, what's and the, that's the camels that yeah, we need to take him. Because I'm not sure we're we will win the battle if we don't, and we run the risk of the enemy that's recruiting that cam unit as well, and that would make us fucked. So but this I think is I think it's manageable manageable and Gracchus is prob most likely to be facing off with the Saxon army here and that's perfectly fine we don't need to recruit him and you're on your way down there Probinus now that's the other thing where will he go he can reach of Arkham if he does that he I think we will win that because they don't look strong. But Elusa down here looks weak though. So I think we'll make a tactical retreat with him. He can't reach us. And he can besiege Portugala. In fact, I hope he does. So let's just make a tactical retreat here and hope he goes to Varkum or Burdigala. Yeah, that's what we will do. And you, you should, because here's the thing. I want to push him up. My decision right here will be, I will push him up to Augusta or Iovavum. To try to hold off the barbarian hordes coming this way and the Huns possibly going this way. And I will rely on Stilico or Probinus to when the time comes reinforce the north here. Because we need to do that. At your command. Oh, Stanley. The garrison would come out to fight with us, right? And the garrison was quite badger. No, no, no. So let's attack him. Takes the fight. That's good. What the hell? They didn't. I guess we'll have to deal with it anyway. Just need to check this out right here no I'm um, no we're going to retreat here six units so 60 units of thrall skirmishers is just too much for this army and and they aren't they can attack a settlement that's no problem 
I think. They're not that strong, but compared to this one, to this army right here, they they would probably mess us up quite good. And you're about fully replenished, so I think we can afford to start moving you moving you this way. Swift as the angels. Is that all? Mercenaries here, hurlers, so they are sheep, so I'll guess we'll have them. We don't need to recruit them this turn though, so I can use wait just a second with that. And the dude so so basically the Jews can do whatever they want. They they don't pose a, that big threat. And I hope the Western Roman rebels most likely they attack Lugdunum at the end turn. We destroyed Gaul here, but took a quite a beating. So Turonum wouldn't be able to withstand another attack. They wouldn't. Now we need to recruit a general and I want to recruit one here in Londinium. We got rid of one stack so now there's, there's the other stacks of Jutes here. They will likely sack Lindum or something like that. Oh, they're besieging Borkum. And they are recruiting so they will soon be ready to make a move so uh, let's get on and secure londinium here and try or at least try to secure it he's the scholar same with him quite good research rate actually but he's at five percent he's at ten percent so and he's boring so this is a high risk settlement to guard so I'll guess I will go with you no mercenaries but you will need to recruit you can hold this city with that I think do we need anything more Ready for battle. don't need and can't recruit with him should we recruit more here? We probably should, right? But on the same, at the same hand, on the other hand, 15 units, if they replenish, we are good to go. I'm not going to merge them together, but I'm going to recruit with you. So we can recruit, afford to recruit one unit and let's hire him so we don't forget about next turn. And we're down to 40, so now there's nothing left to do, right? Or we have Probinus. And we don't have a rebellion. I want to get the, those points going for... Stilico, maybe we should... Maybe we should replace him with Probinus and move him north and use Stilico to rank him up with the next rebellion here. But we can do that next turn if well, not on, not likely, but if, and that's a big if the Swabians attack. I want. Still, you still go to get the influence from that, and we're just one turn away of getting this, so a little bit more movement speed. But the main thing is that we can pay to get the Western Auxilia Palatina. I also would want to get that, but we have to think that through through a bit. So let's. Yeah, I know. I just can't recruit him. I can't in reinstate him in Carthage yet. 
I want one in Magna Gratia, but as it stands for this moment, that's too high risk. So here we go. Okay, so let's see. This one is obviously the most strongest one. Fuck me, five axemen units. Okay, sounds cav raiders. The reinforcing army isn't that strong. But these guys are a real problem and the attrition is worse than I first thought. You know what? I don't think... I'm not confident in winning this. Because we just... When you kind of analyze it here, we're really badly damaged. So maybe it's best to pull a tactical retreat here too. We run the risk, there's some risk with that, but there's even greater risk, I think, to engage here and get crushed. Yeah, I'm I'm pulling the retreat here, hoping he but he won't. He won't come off. There's no no way in hell. Are you going to besiege it or what? Not? Yeah, here we will just order us all. Take it, I don't want it. Langobards took it for themselves. By the looks of it. We have a couple of stacks of Saxons arriving in France. So here we have this, I, as I was hoping for, finally a heroic victory. Got rid of them and we'll take the money gained. Funds are retreating, yes it seems now they're moving up. Maybe dividing themselves, dividing themselves a bit. So Bologna has been under siege for some time. Ringians moving down here now. So yeah, that's quite a few enemies near Iovavum and Augusta Vendelicorum. And here comes Macedonia to Regium. Well, all right, so what do we have against us? We should definitely fight this manually. So they're attacking with the fleet, so they would go down, go and take down my ship right here. So I think it's a good move to embark him. What type of settlement is this? It would look kind of different from the side, but no, no. Just me mixing mixing it up a bit. Mixing them up a bit. Jump 
that artillery can actually do quite some damage. That's mainly the only unit that's making me a bit hesitant here on how to approach this, but we'll go pretty standard and I think we'll use I think we will use your legios here you just place yourselves there in the meantime scout equities just hang out here in the back let's start the battle we will crush the enemy with our greater numbers that's that's so irritating too close so we have to go outside to kind of turn around and really stupid actually they won't be cheesing with them I'm sure of it but not the way I did in the, the battle against the whoever it was, was it the Franks? And it's coming to tens, it's three units. Those dramatic warband, I kind of didn't see them first. So, yeah, we'll just have to. See what happens, I guess. I want to keep you close by. And just take it slow and steady here. Probably you should probably go in and guard this entrance, right? I'm hoping they attack through here because that's the best height advantage oh shit here that sorts of things you are firing at us so fuck it everyone retreat we'll think of something else here let him fire his shots Is he embarking here? It looks like that, so... Just... Gather around, gather around. And hopefully we could get an opportunity to... Kind of pick them apart. Let's, let's fast forward a bit, so... Hopefully they are being drawn towards us. Shit, you need to go this way. And you two guys form up something around, something around here. Will he just... He's running. The other ones are embarking as it is right now. You should start firing on him, but we want to get you into a better position. Is he going straight, straight past us? He is. I think I will use you for that purpose. Riders advance and I'm take care of him. He's shaking, so he's breaking quite quickly, right? 
that at least the Germanic warband down. You can stop firing now, please. Yeah, he's dead. Now we actually want to be moving this way, I think. Maybe we should use the scatter cortes to buy themselves buy them some time. We have those jabs. Warm up for a nope. Get here now. That's good, he's moving forward, so maybe we can just Oh shitty charge. Please break him. At least he is shaken, but I don't know. He's wavering. Now you need to go now. At least he's shaken. Palatina guards, maybe we should. Can we lure you out? Can we get one wally off on those light marines? Move back. The others. He should be tied up. Just turn your back against us. No. Oh shit. They are taking fire, but it's the competence, so it doesn't really matter, I think. Fire on him. And you move back, scatter Cortez, can you make sure he stays broken? Yeah, he's shattered. No, come out, come out and fight us. Testudo. And move to the side. Stop firing. Uh, know what? Give them a volley. And we also need you. Just go in and kill them. We need to be quick about this. He's shaken, but wavering, please. Another comet attendance is here, comet attendance is, and there's the Palatina. Now you move outside, take care of those Marines. No, I think we need to engage them, and you need to engage him. This is... Now, Comet Attendances against Comet Attendances. 
He's getting fucked from two fronts. Maybe you could fire on him or not at a good angle, I guess. Still confident, that's no good. Yeah, and he was, will go into our backs right now. So, this isn't going too well. We need to pull you out and try to cycle charge. How the Legio is doing. We need to charge in straight away. It's not looking like a winning fight right now. We are about to break here. So, thing is, what will they do? Try to kill as many of them off as possible. Can we afford to kind of make a charge on them, please? Take them out. At least 36 kills from the archers. That's no good. That's no. That's really not good enough. Yeah, we are getting. We are losing, losing a battle right here. Yeah, the battle's over. So could you get a volley off? No. All right, it's a close defeat. We'll just have to suck it up and accept it. Most likely, they will just sack it. I. But who knows, maybe they occupy it. We will find out soon enough. Made a poor decision, I think. But with that, artillery attacking our forces right there. I don't think we would may have made it very far anyway. Some battles you win, some battles you lose, and yeah, they, they they stacked it. Fuckers. So Eve of them. I'll guess we'll start from here next episode. So if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.